Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and as you can see here I have a Stanley Fat Max 20 volt nail gun. Just got this, uh, I was doing a little bit of research on nail guns, decided to buy something because uh, I really need a, a nail gun now uh, for doing some of the jobs that I do, like I say I do buy tools that I use on my job. Uh, so this is the one I chose because it fitted within my budget Stanley's a fairly decent make so I thought we'll, we'll take a punt on this um, it's a 16 gauge nail gun you can see by the picture it's not an angled one uh, they are slightly cheaper to run the, the straightforward ones but I, I just need it for doing like the skirting boards, architraves and putting up fence panels and things like that um, just general purpose basically um, it comes with two batteries and uh, that's all I can tell you about it based on the research obviously the rear of the box just shows you in use on the pictures there so you've got all the different languages um, first impressions oh by the way it just came in this cardboard box here I didn't know what it was I kind of figured it would be the nail gun but we're getting lots of stuff delivered at the moment so uh, didn't, didn't exactly know if it was a nail gun or not but normally when they do an unboxing I do the full unboxing but it, this is just how it came in the box so it is sealed here with two labels as you can see I've not opened it yet so this is a genuine unboxing video of the actual casing like I said the first impressions this is quite a robust case um, got a decent sturdy handle some decent sturdy clasps on it so what we'll do is get it open now and then have a look at what's inside the box if we turn it round and do it this way you'll have a better idea so we'll unclasp it there and just put a knife along the side Got to mention it does come with a three year guarantee as well so if you are planning on getting one don't forget to register your guarantee i will say this it does not look um like um when i say it does not look like it doesn't look dissimilar to the dewalt uh so in theory it, it, it's kind of like a similar sort of size to the Dewalt ones that you can see. So as you can see here, we have the charger or the charging dock, which comes with indicators to tell you if the batteries need charging now far they've got to go they basically blink and then go solid once they're charged here they are with the two 20 volt 2ah batteries I'm quite glad there's two two with them so we'll get these charged up ready to go in the gun they do come with an indicator there so you can see that they're on one bar at the moment so this one's probably the same is it yeah it's on one bar at the moment so they do need charging up so we'll get these charged up the gun itself yeah it's got a bit of weight to it A, a good put on it the last nail gun I had was a tack wise one and it had this rubber foot on it that kept falling off and um, one of the things that concerned me when I was purchasing things like this I, I really need something a bit more substantial because when you fire a nail quite often the foot can come off and that feels to be quite solid it does come with a belt clip as well so you can hook that to your belt as you're using it trigger operation just come with instructions so we'll have to have a read through these as well 
get an idea of what's going on and I think this is where you register your guarantee there's the guarantee for the actual gun itself and like I say these are the instructions just tells you how to put the gun together there so here we have the instructions as you can see well you won't be able to see this but until I hold it up but there you go it is numbered pointing at different areas of the gun and obviously I've been through the instructions it wasn't exactly clear what it was doing but then they've got like diagrams in in here which is telling you how to operate them basically so I, I thought all these were instructions but these are just safety instructions the rest to find out where their features are you need to go to page 8 there so this tells you here in the, the list what those numbers represent on the picture on the front so it was quite an interesting thing once I got reading through it I mean this wheel here was right about that being the tension for how deep the nails go in so it is mentioned on here somewhere I think it's yeah you know, it's there number three there's, there's a little diagram there at the top because obviously it's round the back of the picture so you look at number three and it's depth adjustment wheel there so that's what that is there and then the number four which tells you there it's on the, on the front of that again this is the depth adjustment indicator so when you're winding that down up and down that that little line there moves up and down as you're going up let me try and do this like that so it, it should have moved up so that will fire the nail in a lot deeper than that so that's how you adjust the depth and yeah so we have a jam clearing latch as well number seven here this is here I uh, don't know it just un unclips the, the actual thing there I think I don't now oh, there we go that's how it how it works so you can you can undo all that and if you get any jams with your nails you can just clip this off and snap it back into place it's quite a good feature to have that on a nail gun um, because obviously sometimes they do jam you do have the where the magazines go etc etc let's feed them in the back there I should imagine so yeah once you get used to reading instructions you get yeah, so you load your magazine into the back and hopefully that, that then is spring there and it pushes it along as you fire in the nails one thing I can mention is the foot again is it's fixed into place it does unclip and there is a spare one here so obviously if you was to lose this one you have a spare one it is like a plasticky rubber type thing so it is quite flexible but like I said it is quite solid on onto the bracket there it is fixed on quite well so it won't come off anytime soon so like I said we'll get this on the job now oh before we go just tell you there 25 to 64 millimeter brads or nails they are 16 gauge and again they're 24 to 64 millimeters so it, it can take some quite big big nails in that so yeah before we go we'll just mention that it has also got an LED indicators uh, lights there so when you pull the trigger they should come on but we'll, like I said we'll get this on the job uh, we'll start using it uh, we need to get some nails because it doesn't come with any nails I always find that a little bit weird when you're buying stuff like this they don't give you just like a like a just one magazine if, if anything just to get you started so you can run out and just 
fire nails into things to see if it's working. They never supply anything like that with stuff like this. So you always have to go out and buy some. You can just need 16 gauge nails, which is what I'll go out and get. And um, we'll get it going. We'll get it on the job. We'll get it used. And then we'll come back and I'll let you know how it performed. So keep watching the video and uh, you should be seeing me start using it on, on the job. So yeah, keep watching and we'll get back to it with uh, my honest opinion. There we go with the uh, Stanley Fat Max nail gun, 16 gauge nail gun, this is the V20 lithium battery model, it's actually called the V20, is this, um, like I said it takes 16 gauge brads, has um, two 20 volt batteries, uh, it's, it's done a very good, very good job of nailing the nails in, as you can see I've just done a few um, feather edge panels on, on my property that have come loose and uh, nailed them back in and it's just fired them in straight away and it was quite quick at recoiling as well um, I would say so I was getting some nails out quite rapidly and not having to wait for it to recoil inside the machine you do have to adjust this um, for the, the tension like I said earlier it's got a gauge on it there which will tell you that there's also here which I didn't realise was here um, trigger lock so you place that in that position and you can't accidentally fire it then uh, if you need to but, um, once you've undone it it will do that but it won't fire until the actual foot plate is depressed like that so I don't want a, a nail in my finger yet so that's what that does so all in all it's a very good machine can't really complain about it probably give it an eight and a half to nine out of ten simply because um, the instructions was a little bit weird uh, got loads of numbers on the front of the booklet there pointing to different things and again you've got like loads of diagrams and then it goes straight into safety procedures here and here and don't get to page 8 and you finally find out what those numbers represent here so this little guy could probably have been done at the front um, because there is a blank page there I mean let's face it it'd have been easier to find rather than obviously going through all the way to the back nearly to find out what all the numbers represent and what they call the different bits um, other than that, it's fairly easy to operate. You see, you're just using the 16 gauge brands which I've got some here. These are by Tackwise. They are thicker than the 18 gauge ones, so you can immediately feel the difference in them if you've got 18 gauge already. Uh, so, yeah. Put them back in the box. I've already got some loaded in here, as you can see. 
um, really easy to load in that is a spring loaded thing once you click that it just goes straight back there they just slide in the back really easy there's a little clip here which nails in a bit further so it holds them into place like that once you have them more or less into place you, you can just lift this up get your nails all the way along like that and then it, it holds them all into place and makes sure as if I you do get any jams you just lift that up and obviously you can remove any jams from there There you go, that's the Stanley Fat Max V20 nail gun. Like I say, probably eight and a half, nine out of ten for it. Um, we'll get it used on some jobs as well, so you might get some more footage about how to use it, and I might do an update video later on once I've been using it quite a lot when I've used it on a few more jobs. So yeah, give it a big thumbs up. Price-wise, I mean you can't go wrong. This was £269, so £270 you could say. Um, B Walt ones are into the 500s and um, you, you'll know how expensive they are for decent ones but i would say depending on what your budget is if, if you've only got like two or three hundred pounds to get one of these and um, you will get two batteries with it after all and uh, we'll see how long they last um, it only took about an hour to charge up so it wasn't too long to wait um, but yeah that's the stand with fat max nail gun like i say big thumbs up from me um so Thanks for watching the video, of course. Um, big thank you to everybody who does subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and we will do an update on this in the next few months, hopefully, and I hope we'll see you in that video soon. So thanks for watching and have a good day.